Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. My name is Mehdi from TD Redbox and today I'm going to talk about how to create leather material in Substance Painter. For the first step, we need to have a model. I just picked from the uh, latest base mesh collection in our store, as you can find uh, the link of the product in the description. And after that, I just add some wrinkles in ZBrush to give it more look uh, realistic. And bake from high poly version, which comes from uh, ZBrush, and low poly version, which comes from our base mesh collection. And now we are ready to go to create a leather material in Substance Painter. So I just add a folder, call it leather, and another folder, call it plastic. Okay, for the plastic part, I'm going to use the polygon field and select the bottom part, as you can see. Okay, and for the leather, I can select all the parts over here. Yes. So, if you pay attention to the texture set list, uh, I have boot, steel, and the zip in different set list. Okay, so. So the main focus here is working on boot, not steel or zip part, okay? So uh, let's create a base layer for leather. Okay, I'm going to call it base layer. Oh, it's wrong. Base layer, yeah, it's fixed. And load a gradient, a gradient builder in base color. Okay, so it has three layer gradient okay the projection is uv projection and as you can see i have a good color variation on the model so let's pick uh, the first color it should be uh, something like this yeah it's okay the second one it should be darker okay but in this family yeah i think it's good and the third one should be on this family too, but a little bit brighter. So the base layer is okay. And let's go and bring up the roughness value around, for example, 55. So the base is okay. And oh, the inner part is not selected in the mask. So it's fixed right now. And let's add some material for this part. I'm just going to add rubber tire for the plastic part. Okay, that's good. That's good. Let's increase the tiling. Yeah, over here in this layer. Yeah, it's good. And add a color value or color variation. And keep the color itself. Increase the value in the white. Put the blending mode into soft light and now i can play with the mask okay so i'm going to add a black mask and after that add generator and in the generator i'm going to i uh, use dirt yeah it's okay play with the contrast dirt level edge masking and grunge amount yeah the bottom part is okay but i need to fix this uh, color difference here so Let's pick the color in a rubber base and bring it down to something like this. Yeah, and it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so that's okay for the bottom part. Now let's uh, go back to the leather part. For the leather, I'm going to add another layer, which is our cover color. The cover color should define the color of this part of the model. So in this way, I can control this part of the model separately from the base color, okay? So now I'm going to have a dark brown, something like this, and it should be just color, 
the opacity should be on 60 for example now as you can see we have more variation in the color so uh, for creating a good leather material you need to have a lot of variation related to the reference so in this video i'm going to add uh, different color variation with different techniques so you can catch the techniques and adopt it uh, with your reference okay so uh, let's create an, another layer color one color variation number one uh, it should be on the soft light in the blending mode that's it and uh, now i'm going to keep the base color and the roughness okay so the cover color it just uh, it just has one base color slot but in the color variation i can turn on the roughness channel too okay so let's create a mask for this layer so uh let's bring down the the color uniform color okay yeah it's okay and for the roughness it should be on the three five yeah it's okay so let's create base mask for it i'm going to add a generator and for the generator i'm going to use mask editor okay so in the mask editor i'm going to add two different texture and create a mask with the mask editor in the generator related to these two textures okay so i'm going to add textures here the first one uh, let's use the grunge one of the grunge over here i think the grunges uh, with number is good okay so let's grunge map or maybe yeah the 14th is good okay let's go back to the mask view and for the secondary texture slot i'm going to use cloth yeah cloth tree is good okay let's bring up the contrast of the cloud and a little balance and contrast tweak in grunge map and let's go back here texture opacity related to the first texture and texture two opacity related to this claw texture okay so now i can uh, fix my parameters here for example i'm going to bring up the beller value bring up the global balance a little bit contrast over here and i just want to have the invert type of the mask yeah it's good it's very good and let's bring up the texture opacity over here mm -hmm. yeah everything is good and the ambient occlusion should be more higher yeah the curvature can control the effect on the edge and that's it that's it for this mask and let's create a filter with the blur and yeah that's good so uh i can came over here and play with the seat to have more variation on the mask okay or, or play with the balance over here so the first color variation is created okay this is the result so let's create another color variation layer okay and i'm going to use multiply on the blending mode okay for this layer i'm going to use a fill layer so uh let's search for a scratch yeah look what we have here yeah i think is good to have this map let's go back to the mask itself and now here i'm going to change the projection to tri planner because i want to have a uniform effect on the model okay and let's bring down the balance let's bring up the contrast mm -hmm. yeah the effect is good and for the tiling i can use two let's bring up the balance okay that's okay and let's add a filter like pillar and play with the value okay 
now I can add a level and make a strong mask like this and let's bring another generator another mask editor and okay over here I'm going to bring up global balance global blur okay and it should have more contrast texture opacity should be on one the both of them and for the ambient occlusion it should be on one and let's load some grunge for example number seven yeah and for the second one i'm going to load spot grunges okay that's good that's good and let's play with the amount of the balance and contrast in here okay let's bring down the global balance texture opacity the character opacity yeah it's good so for this layer again i'm going to keep the color and the roughness at the same time okay so uh for the roughness maybe 0.4 is okay and for the color you can change the color to whatever you want related to the reference okay so it's uh it's very important to have reference and read the data from your reference so in here i'm just going to add some yellowish color as you can see yeah and for the mask editor i'm going to change the blending mode to linear dodge so the, all the map under this generator can combine with the result of the mask generator so let's duplicate the layer the level node and play with the result yeah it's good and i'm going to bring down the opacity of the color variation number two so this is the result before and after okay so uh let's create another color variation and in this color variation i'm going to use the blending mode of the soft light okay and again i'm going to keep the color and the roughness again but in this layer instead of the solid color i'm going to load a bmb grunge okay and bring up the balance so in this way i have more variation in the color which comes from the base color channel combined with the mask on the layer so you can add more variation with this technique too okay so in the mask i'm going to use just a grunge okay so let's add a fill layer yeah i think uh the grunge 08 is good okay and i'm going to increase the tiling okay and the contrast should be higher the balance could be a little bit lower but uh, in this mask i'm going to use a slope blur because i want to break the edges the border between white and black okay so let's bring bring up the intensity and yeah something like this let's go back to the mask as you can see the mask is very good very good and let's add another filter and yeah i can control the mask with the blur okay so let's uh back to the main color and i'm going to bring up yeah let's increase the tiling amount okay and let's decrease the opacity so okay that's okay and i'm going to bring down the balance over here yeah as you can see we have a lot of color variation okay uh, let's test other blending mode here for example yeah subtract subtract is good and overlay is good too yeah, i'm going add more blur yeah and in here i'm going to play with the tiling amount of the bnb spot so this is the result that we have here as you can see and i can coming down in the 
base layer and play with the color and make it more better okay so this is the color section now we need to add more detail on the edge on the surface noise AO and roughness okay now I need to add more information on the edge so let's create another layer and call it edge damage okay and add black mask and in the black mask I'm going to add generator and metal edge generator is very good for this kind of uh, effect and let's bring down the grunge amount and bring down the rare level because it's not an old shoe it's not an old boot uh, it's kind of new but it's it's a second hand okay uh, so it should it shouldn't have some kind of damage on the surface or edge uh, very high so i'm going to bring up edge smooth bring down very level and a little very contrast yeah and i think that's good yeah so um let's go and add another free layer and i just want to add dirt yeah dirt tree is a good map to add it on the edge damage okay and let's change the blending mode for the dirt tree okay and bring down the opacity uh, i just want to increase tiling and now that's the time to tweak the parameters of the layer so i need to white value because the soft light is it's a good solution for the edge or a wear and tearing effect in substance winter because with the soft light and white value you can uh, give a more brightness on the color surface itself so it's it looks more natural okay so uh let's bring down the height value yeah and bring up the roughness and i don't need these channels so i can turn them off and this is the result that i have here and for the second one i'm going to add surface noise and in the surface noise i'm going to load a grunge okay so grunge related to leather because uh, we didn't create anything related to layer pattern yet so with this layer we are going to do that and here i have a grunge leather damage okay that's good that's very good map and i'm going to increase the tiling amount and bring down the balance okay and bring up the contrast over here let's go back to the material mode and yeah i think it's good but uh we should have some tweak here let's bring another fill layer and i just want to subtract the damage of the edge from the leather pattern on the surface okay so i need to came back on the edge damage layer and add an anchor point and here in the fill layer i'm going to load edge damage mask okay and change the blending mode from normal to subtract so in this way we have this effect so let's go back to the bare level on the metal edge now i can create a better effect and another subtraction of the grunge leather damage uh, it can be for example charcoal map yeah and i'm going to increase the tiling as you can see and bring down the balance okay and now i'm going to subtract this map from grunge leather damage okay but it's too strong so i can bring down the opacity yeah like this so uh let's go back to the layer itself and i need to bring up 
the value in the height so we have the normal let's go to the normal height plus mesh and bring down the height as you can see there is no effect from the surface noise in this channel okay but whenever i increase the height amount you can see the result over here okay so this is the final normal map that you export from substance painter so uh i don't need metallic information i don't need normal information i need ao information here because i'm going to add normal for this pattern in the next layer okay so uh let's go back to the material view and i just want to pick a brown color okay and let's change the blending mode to linear dodge as you can see the color is pop up and it's it's good it's very good so uh the value for the roughness should be on the for example 0 0.5 it's okay because we are going to add more variation in roughness in the future in the near near future okay and for the ao I need to add another anchor point here and let's create another layer here call it leather AO okay and let's add a black mask add a fill layer and let's load the surface noise mask I'm going to duplicate it change the second one to subtract and between these two I'm going to add a blur filter so as you can see I can control the amount of the yeah it's okay let's turn off all the channels here i just want to bring down the ao okay and let's bring up the blur value yeah it's better so we are done here okay and let's add roughness value and roughness variation to our material so for the roughness variation we just need to have roughness channel on this layer okay and i'm going to add a black mask so in this black mask we can add for example two different fill layer with different grunges and subtract them from each other to achieve a new mask so uh, for the first one i'm going to load this grunge charcoal okay so let's go over here and for example i'm going to bring up the tiling amount yes uh, it shouldn't have very contrasty effect because the roughness value uh, it's going to break uh, break up in the result in the final result so um, i need another fill layer which is going to subtract from this one and let's search about leak dirty yeah i'm going to select this one yeah this one is better and bring up the tiling yeah and let's add a filter for example blur but not with it too much in the amount something like this and boom it's okay we have a lot of variation here as you can see okay so I'm gonna stick with this result. Let's go to check the roughness channel itself. Yeah, it's good. It's very good. And I'm going to add another roughness variation. Let's add the black mask, add the fill layer, and I just want to have grunge wipey brush and bring up the tiling. Yeah, it's uh, it can give you uh, a feel like the bra uh, the brushes on the surface of the leather okay so uh, i just need to color and the roughness mm, the roughness should be on a 0 0.7 and the color it can be on the soft light and a little bit yeah yeah it's okay so i have this and that's it let's go add another layer this layer uh, it's responsible for uh, controlling the roughness in AO area. Okay, 
So let's add a black mask, add a generator, and in the generator, I'm going to call ambient occlusion. Yeah, I'm going to invert it. And as you can see, this part of the model, these are AO area. So let's bring up the A global balance, global blur, and the contrast. And in the layer, I'm just going to create the roughness. Okay, uh, this is the result as you can see in the material. And let's go back to the edge damage and add a filter a blur, okay? So I just tried to solve this edgy effect here and we are just need to add the final layer, dirt. For the dirt layer, I'm going to add a black mask generator and just add the dirt generator okay and let's bring down the dirt level grunge amount grunge scale edge masking i just tweaking all the parameters to uh, achieving what i want so let's add a fill layer uh for example this leak yeah bring up the tiling okay and i'm going to change the blending mode from normal to multiply okay so uh, it's going to show me the grunge leaks only in the dirt area. So as you can see, this is the result. So I'm going to keep the color and bring it down. Yeah, something like this and the roughness in a higher value. So I can play with the dirt level in the generator and get this kind of effect. And now it's time to add a logo for this boot. So I'm going to load a fill layer, okay, Timberland logo, and let's change the wrap to the non. And let's break down what we have here. I want to have the Timberland text in here and the logo itself in here. So let's duplicate the fill layer and bring down the size press f1 to have both 2d and 3d view together and fix the text here okay yeah the text position is good and for the second one i just want to have the logo over here yeah it's good place With the control I can change the scale mode uniformly so it's good now I'm going to add a paint layer with the subtract blending mode and remove the text from logo on the side and remove the logo from this B layer okay so uh let's go back to the layer i'm going to change the blending mode of the base color to soft light and bring up the value of the base color and bring down the height amount something like this yeah and for the normal layer i'm going to change blending mode to the normal and the, for the height I'm going to change to normal. So in this way, this area, it doesn't show the pattern from the downside. So uh, this is for the logo part and I'm going to add a blur, okay, a filter, a blur, but to, it's too strong, okay, something like this. And for more natural look, I'm going to add blur slap but with low amount of intensity, or I can uh, bring up the intensity divider to something like 10 and play with the intensity after that. So uh, this is the result. And I think we can decrease the amount of whiteness in the layer itself. For example, like something like this is better. Yeah. And we need to increase 
the roughness value yeah and that's it this is the result now i just need to add stitches on this boot but it's very time consuming and we already talked too much so i'm going to skip this part and showing you the final result okay this is the result after uh, adding stitches on the model and that's it this is the final word in this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe the channel share your mind in the comment section like the video and be creative goodbye